Percentage, Wikipedia article audio. In mathematics, a percentage is a number or ratio expressed as a fraction of 100. It is often denoted using the percent sign, percent, or the abbreviations PCT, PCT, sometimes the abbreviation PC is also used. A percentage is a dimensionless number. Examples Example 1 Example 2 History Percent sign Calculations Percentage increase and decrease Compounding percentages Word and symbol Other uses Related units Practical applications For example, 45% is equal to 45 100, 45 colon 100, or 0.45. Percentages are often used to express a proportionate part of a total. If 50% of the total number of students in the class are male, that means that 50 out of every 100 students are male. If there are 500 students, then 250 of them are male. An increase of 15 cents on a price of $2.50 is an increase by a fraction of 0.15 slash 2.50 equals 0.06. Expressed as a percentage, this is a 6% increase. While many percentage values are between 0 and 100, there is no mathematical restriction and percentages may take on other values. For example, it is common to refer to 111% or 35%, especially for percent changes and comparisons. In ancient Rome, long before the existence of the decimal system, computations were often made in fractions which were multiples of 1/100. For example, Augustus levied a tax of 1 100 on goods sold at auction known as Centesi Marirum Venalium. Computation with these fractions was equivalent to computing percentages. As denominations of money grew in the Middle Ages, computations with a denominator of 100 became more standard and from the late 15th century to the early 16th century it became common for arithmetic texts to include such computations. Many of these texts applied these methods to profit and loss, interest rates, and the rule of three. By the 17th century it was standard to quote interest rates in hundredths. The term percent is derived from the Latin percentum, meaning by the hundred. The sign for percent evolved by gradual contraction of the Italian term percento, meaning for a hundred. The per was often abbreviated as p, and eventually disappeared entirely. The cento was contracted to two circles separated by a horizontal line from which the modern percent symbol is derived. The percent value is computed by multiplying the numeric value of the ratio by 100. For example, to find 50 apples as a percentage of 1,250 apples, first compute the ratio 50 1,250 equals 0.04 and then multiply by 100 to obtain 4%. The percent value can also be found by multiplying first, so in this example the 50 would be multiplied by 100 to give 5000, and this result would be divided by 1250 to give 4%. To calculate a percentage of a percentage, convert both percentages to fractions of 100, or to decimals, and multiply them. For example, 50% of 40% is. It is not correct to divide by 100 and use the percent sign at the same time. Whenever we talk about a percentage, it is important to specify what it is relative to, 
i.e. what is the total that corresponds to 100%. The following problem illustrates this point. We are asked to compute the ratio of female computer science majors to all computer science majors. We know that 60% of all students are female, and among these 5% are computer science majors, so we conclude that 60 100 times 5 100 equals 3 100 or 3% of all students are female computer science majors. Dividing this by the 10% of all students that are computer science majors, we arrive at the answer, 3% 10% equals 30 100 or 30% 30 of all computer science majors are female. This example is closely related to the concept of conditional probability. Due to inconsistent usage, it is not always clear from the context what a percentage is relative to. When speaking of a 10% rise or a 10% fall in a quantity, the usual interpretation is that this is relative to the initial value of that quantity. For example, if an item is initially priced at $200 and the price rises 10%, the new price will be $220. Note that this final price is 110% of the initial price. Some other examples of percent changes. In general, a change of X percent in a quantity results in a final amount that is 100 plus X percent of the original amount. Percent changes applied sequentially do not add up in the usual way. For example, if the 10% increase in price considered earlier is followed by a 10% decrease in the price, the final price will be $198, not the original price of $200. The reason for the apparent discrepancy is that the 2% changes are measured relative to different quantities, and thus do not cancel out. In general, if an increase of X% percent is followed by a decrease of X%, percent, and the initial amount was P, the final amount is P equals P2, thus the net change is an overall decrease by X% percent of X%. Percent. Thus, in the above example, after an increase and decrease of X equals 10%, percent, the final amount, $198, was 10% of 10%, or 1%, less than the initial amount of $200. The net change is the same for a decrease of X% percent followed by an increase of X%, percent. the final amount is P equals P2. This can be expanded for a case where you do not have the same percent change. If the initial percent change is X and the second percent change is Y, and the initial amount was P, then the final amount is P. To change the above example, after an increase of X equals 10% and decrease of Y equals 5%, the final amount, $209, is 4.5% more than the initial amount of $200. As shown above, percent changes can be applied in any order and have the same effect. In the case of interest rates, a very common but ambiguous way to say that an interest rate rose from 10% per annum to 15% per annum, for example, is to say that the interest rate increased by 5%, which could theoretically mean that it increased from 10% per annum to 10.05% per annum. It is clearer to say that the interest rate increased by 5 percentage points. The same confusion between the different concepts of percent and percentage points can potentially cause a major misunderstanding when journalists report about election results, for example, expressing both new results and differences with earlier results as percentages. For example, if a party obtains 41% of the vote and this is said to be a 2.5% increase, does that mean the earlier result was 40% or 38.5%?
In financial markets, it is common to refer to an increase of one percentage point as an increase of 100 basis points. In British English, percent is usually written as two words, although percentage and percentile are written as one word. In American English, percent is the most common variant. In the early 20th century, there was a dotted abbreviation form percent. As opposed to percent, the form percent is still in use in the highly formal language found in certain documents like commercial loan agreements, as well as in the Hansard transcripts of British parliamentary proceedings. The term has been attributed to Latin percentum. The concept of considering values as parts of a hundred is originally Greek. The symbol for percent evolved from a symbol abbreviating the Italian percento. In some other languages, the form percent or procent is used instead. Some languages use both a word derived from percent and an expression in that language meaning the same thing, e.g. Romanian percent and law sut hundred, similarly with the English one out of ten. Other abbreviations are rarer, but sometimes seen. Grammar and style guides often differ as to how percentages are to be written. For instance, it is commonly suggested that the word percent be spelled out in all texts, as in 1% and not 1%. Other guides prefer the word to be written out in humanistic texts, but the symbol to be used in scientific texts. Most guides agree that they always be written with a numeral, as in 5% and not 5%, the only exception being at the beginning of a sentence, 10% of all writers love style guides. Decimals are also to be used instead of fractions, as in 3.5% of the gain and not 31-2% of the gain. However the titles of bonds issued by governments and other issuers use the fractional form, e.g. 31-2% unsecured loan stock 2032 series 2. It is also widely accepted to use the percent symbol in tabular and graphic material. In line with common English practice, Style guides such as the Chicago Manual of Style generally state that the number and percent sign are written without any space in between. However, the international system of units and the ISO 31-0 standard require a space. The word percentage is often a misnomer in the context of sports statistics, when the referenced number is expressed as a decimal proportion, not a percentage. The Phoenix Suns Shaquille O'Neal led the NBA with a .609 field goal percentage during the 2008-09 season. Likewise, the winning percentage of a team, the fraction of matches that the club has won, is also usually expressed as a decimal proportion, a team that has a .500 winning percentage has won 50% of their matches. The practice is probably related to the similar way that batting averages are quoted. As percent it is used to describe the steepness of the slope of a road or railway, formula for which is 100 times rise slash run which could also be expressed as the tangent of the angle of inclination times 100. This is the ratio of distances a vehicle would advance vertically and horizontally, respectively when going up or downhill, expressed in percent. Percentage is also used to express composition of a mixture by mass percent and mole percent. An increase of 100% in a quantity means that the final amount is 200% of the initial amount, in other words, the quantity has doubled, an increase of 800% means the final amount is 9 times the original. A decrease of 60% means the final amount is 40% of the original, a decrease of 100% means the final amount is zero.